What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Knee Goose. I finally made a plague add-on tier list. I have been a plague main for over a year now. I have dumped a whole lot of hours into this killer and I have used every single add-on. I don't know how many times, but it is a lot of times. So I have an idea of how every single add-on works. I'm going to be giving you my opinion on how much value I got with those add-ons throughout my matches. I'm going to be telling you how strong or weak an add-on is. This tier list is based on my opinion, so please don't get offended if i put an add-on in a specific tier i know the plague got some reworks to her add-on so i'm going to be telling you my opinion on those add-ons as well but without further ado let's get into the tier list here is the add-on tier list so for the first add-on we have the ashen apple this is a very strong plague add-on what it does is it makes you spawn in with an extra pool of corrupt purge in the beginning of the trial we all know that plague spawns in with one default corrupt pool so this is just going to give you two before they reworked this add-on it had a second ability where it made your puke stay on surface areas a bit longer but that is no longer the case because it received a huge buff its second ability now is it gives you an extra pool of devotion on the map so the plague has six by default so this is going to give you seven and this is huge because it opens up the opportunity of you getting better corrupt pool placements or better pool of devotion placements in general so for example if you have played on backwater swamp we know the pool placements on that map are garbage sometimes you will get pools on every corner of the outskirts of the map pretty much requires you to travel a far distance to grab your corrupt pools but now this add-on kind of increases your chances of you possibly getting corrupt pools in the middle of the map, which is easier to access. The Apple add-ons are honestly amazing. When you go up against teams that don't cleanse, if they do decide to stay broken the entire match, bringing in an Apple is just pretty much a backup plan just in case if you don't get much value with your default corrupt pool, you're going to have that extra pool of corrupt purge just in case pretty much. You could also bring in another Apple if you want and uh, team staying broken against corrupt purge is uh, kind of risky for them because yeah, they're going down in one shot and corrupt purge is just honestly really, really really good man um one of the best powers in the game i'd say it is very very strong and if you know how to use it you could get some really good value out of your uh, corrupt pools if you are in high mmr i would suggest you bring an apple every match because this add-on is so damn good and for that i am dropping it in the top of a tier for the next add-on we got black incense and what this add-on does is every time a survivor pukes from being fully infected you are going to get to see their aura for three seconds anywhere on the map okay if all four survivors are fully infected you're pretty much just going to be seeing them for the whole match you're going to have consistent wall hacks you will get so much information from this one add-on you'll know which generator survivors are working on you'll know if they're going to a pool to cleanse you'll know when they're going for the unhook and it will pretty much just make you just pre-plan your strategies accordingly you know what i mean if you see someone heading towards a pool to cleanse you could just start heading there because by the time you get there they're most likely cleansed and you could just grab your corrupt perch like this add-on gives you so much information so much tracking and this is its number one strength it also has many other strengths that i'm gonna get into especially in chase when you are chasing a survivor specifically at tiles where you and the survivor cannot see each other such as killer shack jungle gyms uh high wall loops uh i would say killer shack it's iffy because uh good survivors will use like the boarded windows to see where you're coming from but uh you get the point but pretty much um yeah you could do some really crazy mind games at these loops all right, so if you see a survivor camping a pallet, what you could do is just stand still. Then you do a little moonwalk and try to swing through the pallet and get a down on them. What I do sometimes is I just stand still and the survivor will panic. They'll either run into you or they'll hold W to another loop. If they're holding W to another loop, you won't be standing there wasting your time. You'll know exactly when they're going. So you could just uh, go with them and try to uh, get them down before they could 
get to another loop. And uh, another major thing that this add-on does is it gives you information on when is the best time to grab your corrupt purge. So if you see two to three auras that are all in like the same vicinity, this might be the best time for you to grab your corrupt purge and head over to where all those survivors are and try to snowball and create as much pressure with corrupt purge as possible possible when you have corrupt purge and black incense you are honestly a very strong killer because survivors are one shot down you can see their auras pretty much all the time it should be easy for you to get some quick downs on survivors okay another benefit to this add-on is that if survivors know you have this add-on most of the time they're gonna cleanse not all the time and i'm gonna get into that after but a majority of the time they are gonna cleanse especially if they they feel suspicious that you know exactly where they are all the time. But uh, yeah, uh, majority of the time survivors do cleanse, which gives you the opportunity of getting corrupt purge quite often. There are two major downsides to this add-on though that doesn't make it that consistent in my opinion. And uh, one of them being if you go up against teams that cleanse consistently. I'm not talking about teams that cleanse under free will or cleanse at random times. I'm talking about coordinated teams that all decide to cleanse all at once. These are the teams that really destroy this add-on and these are the teams that try to reset your pools as well okay so um yeah if you do go up against these kind of teams with black incense you're most likely not ever gonna get value with black incense i feel this add-on isn't as strong on more open maps so maps such as blood lodge that are quite open uh where both you and the survivor could see each other on majority of the loops you're not really gonna get much value out of it um yes aura reading is always good for tracking survivors but in top MMR, it's like you could see their aura, but like you have to get them down. And yeah, survivors, uh, especially on open maps, black incense isn't that good in my opinion, because both you and the survivor could see each other, especially if you're an M1 killer at this time, you're literally just going to be a basic uh, plague pretty much trying to get a survivor down at a low wall loop where you cannot mind game at all. So yeah, this add on does suffer on open maps, but on maps that have a lot of buildings, a lot of structures, um, indoor maps specifically, this add on is insane, man, because you could know exactly where they're going. You could cut them off. What's good about indoor maps is that survivors won't have line of sight on you all the time. So you will know which direction to go in order to cut them off pretty much. Plague, in my opinion, has one of the best tracking base kit powers in the game. I think it is quite underrated. She has many tools to know where survivors are. When survivors are sick, you could hear them coughing from so far. Another tracking tool she has is puking on surface areas and keeping track of the HUD to see which survivor interacted with that specific surface area you puked on, okay? Another source of tracking that she has is if a survivor cleanses, you will see the pool highlight in white so you will know which area of the map they are in so you could kind of scout out the area and try to find them another source of tracking that the plague has is that when a survivor is fully infected and they interact with a surface area that is not puked on you're going to see green puke on that surface area so you're going to know that that survivor interacted with that surface area not too long ago so you might want to scout out the area and listen for coughing and you guys are probably wondering why am i listing out all of these uh tracking tools that the plague has and this is my overall opinion with this add-on the plague's base kit tracking is honestly really really good and black intense is going to make it even better i feel i would rather use an add-on that works on her major weaknesses which is uh survivors not cleansing or you not having access to your corrupt purge but we will get into that later black incense is overall a very very strong add-on it does have its strengths and it does have its weaknesses but uh yeah i think this add-on is incredibly strong and i am definitely going to be dropping it in the s tier 
For the next add-on, we got Devotee's Amulet. What this add-on does is it increases the duration of your Corrupt Purge by an additional 20 seconds. By default, the Plague's Corrupt Purge lasts 60 seconds. This is just going to increase it to 80. Okay, I can't tell you how many times I have been in chase with survivors and I'll be pretty much charging up my stream of puke to shoot a stream of Corrupt Purge at them. But because I had little time left, I lose my Corrupt Purge, I have to swallow back my vomit and now that survivor is able to get to another tile or probably just hold w this add-on is definitely going to help you in those situations this add-on can also be incredibly powerful when you pair it with the other corrupt purge duration add-on which is i believe called exorcism amulet exorcism amulet will increase the duration of your corrupt purge by an additional 10 seconds so if you bring devotees amulet and exorcism amulet that's an extra 30 seconds of corrupt purge on top of 60 so a 90 second corrupt purge which is incredibly strong why i love this add-on so much is because it pairs well with iridescent seal which is one of my favorite add-ons on the plague but we will get into that later but uh yeah other than that i think this add-on is much better than how it used to be i believe before it got buffed it was increase the duration of your corrupt purge by nine seconds now it's 20 which is a huge difference but yeah i think it's in a better place now so i will definitely be dropping devotees amulet in the a tier for the next add-on we got emetic potion what it does is increase the effectiveness of your val purge by 30 percent the plague did receive a recent buff where puke gets survivors broken a bit quicker so this will also help with that but the main point of this add-on is to get survivors broken quickly the only benefit i really see with this add-on is if you catch a survivor out positioned you could get them broken before they could get to a tile and uh one shot down them that's pretty much it getting survivors broken quickly can be nice if you get them out position but if you puke on them without these add-ons they're gonna get broken anyways you know what i mean and you can get them broken quickly which means you can spread your infection around the map faster but it's not really a big deal honestly that's why i'm not really a fan of the effectiveness add-ons i'm definitely gonna drop this add-on in the c tier for sure for the next add-on we got exorcism amulet this is pretty much a downgrade to devotees amulet all it does is increase the duration of your corrupt purge by an extra 10 seconds uh yeah i'm gonna put it one tier below devotees amulet next we got hematite seal what this add-on does is increase the duration your puke stays on surface areas by an extra 30 seconds by default the plague's puke stays on surface areas for 40 seconds so this is just going to increase it to 70 the only benefit i get with this add-on is in the early game so pretty much uh for example if you're running corrupt intervention you could just puke on all the gens that aren't corrupted and um survivors pretty much just have to wait a longer time in order to get on gens and sometimes survivors get impatient and they just hop on the gen anyways and get infected there are very rare circumstances where you have a three gen the survivors are cleansing consistently because they're probably on death or whatever and this kind of gives you better tracking on gens so if you have a three gen you could just puke on gens and if you see a survivor get infected you'll know they interacted with that gen and uh pretty much just push them off the generator and then if they cleanse they're gonna have to wait a long time to get back on the gen again because your puke stays on the generators for 70 seconds so really i don't think it's a good add-on i'm gonna drop it in the d tier for the next add-on we got healing salve and i will say this is by far the plague's best brown add-on what this add-on does is it decreases the cooldown of both your vile and corrupt purge by 0.25 seconds i know a lot of you are gonna say oh the plague received a recent buff where she doesn't get slowed down after she sends a stream of puke but i am going to argue with that because you still have a time period where you're not able to do anything after you send a stream of puke and this add-on is definitely going to help with that so let's get into the first thing you could send multiple streams of vile purge at a survivor continuously like a machine gun okay so if you're right down that survivor's back you could just keep charging it and sending out 
consistent and fast streams of puke on survivors and it will get them broken very very quickly and you could just follow up with a one shot down another thing that this add-on does and where it shines the most is that when you puke on a survivor for example and they're near a pallet or a window you could pretty much get a follow-up with a basic hit on them because you will have less end lag after your puke this is probably the biggest thing that this add-on can do and you cannot you pretty much cannot do it without it um there are times where without cooldown add-ons you puke on a survivor and you, you could have downed them if they were injured but they were able to vault the pallet or vault the window in time and then you have to chase around with them and waste even more time and try to get them down well this cooldown add-on is definitely going to decrease the chances of that happening especially if you pair it with the yellow cooldown add-on as well if you haven't tried this add-on out yet definitely give it a try you will feel the difference i feel like when i use this add-on like my play style is just so much different with plague i just feel like a different killer and i did say earlier that it also applies to corrupt purge as well so you could send multiple streams of corrupt purge quite quickly pretty much like a machine gun if there are multiple survivors in the area it's going to be hard for them to get away and get into pretty much safe areas where they can avoid your corrupt purge you could pretty much just send a quick stream of puke injure one survivor if you see another survivor trying to run away because you have less end lag you can send another quick stream of puke on them and get them injured like bro this opens up so many opportunities for creating some really unique plays that you cannot do without these add-ons okay um another thing you could do is the quick one two combo uh it's kind of similar to huntress where she hits you with the hatchet and then you follow up with the basic hit you could pretty much do the same thing with the corrupt purge but it just depends on how the survivor paths after your first corrupt purge hit but yeah you could do some insane stuff with this add-on man and uh i am definitely definitely gonna be dropping this add-on in the b tier for the next add-on we got incensed ointment this add-on received a complete rework so it's completely different than how it used to be before it was a actual cooldown add-on it was just an upgraded version of the brown one that i explained earlier what it does now is when you ingest your corrupt pool at a pool of devotion any survivor within your terror radius is going to scream okay so this is pretty good because it will just give you information on where to go to next but the major downside to this add-on is that if you go to a pool for example that's on the outskirts of the map you're less likely to get value out of it because survivors are most likely going to be in the middle of the map on generators or whatever you could get some decent value out of it if your pools are like located in very uh high traffic areas where survivors are probably in like main buildings or near killer shack or whatever um but yeah it's a very situational add-on i'm not really a fan of it i'm gonna drop it honestly in the uh c tier for the next add-on we got the infected emetic so this is just the upgrade to the emetic potion all it does is increase the effectiveness of your vial purge by not 30 but 40 percent so it's just a 10 percent increase than the emetic potion um yeah pretty much the same thing as the emetic potion there's not really much to say about it it could be quite rewarding if you stack these together because you could get survivors broken insanely fast and one shot down them but it's only good if you like catch survivors out position um still like i said earlier i'm not a fan of these add-ons uh but since it is green uh i don't even know man i might just put it one tier above the uh potion add-on for the next add-on man one of my favorites we got iridescent seal this add-on is so damn strong man you guys don't i don't think you guys understand how strong this add-on is it's so good what it does is every time a generator gets completed you are automatically gonna get your corrupt purge so this does not require you to waste time and walk all the way to a pool of devotion to power up you're just automatically gonna get it it does come with a downside where you're gonna lose 20 seconds of every corrupt purge you have but 
I always, always, every time I use this add-on, I bring in Devotee's Amulet, which gives you an extra 20 seconds of Corrupt Purge. So it pretty much defeats the downside of the add-on. So you're gonna have 60 seconds of Corrupt Purge all the time. Because there are five generators that the survivors have to complete in order to exit, that means you are guaranteed five corrupt purges that match okay plus the one default corrupt pool you have so you're guaranteed six corrupt purges it's always amazing to know you're gonna be guaranteed something than having to pretty much hope that you're gonna get value out of that specific add-on or perk or whatever it is it's always great having consistency and this is definitely that add-on i really love iridescent seal you guys think that black incense is the best add-on to make survivors cleanse i actually think it's iridescent seal because if a team knows you have eerie seal they cannot play the broken game against you plague with corrupt purge while survivors are fully broken is scary because all it takes is a plague to land one drop of corrupt puke on them and that's it this add-on does have a downside to it though if multiple gens get popped you could pretty much lose value out of it but guys we got a new perk which i always run now it is called deadlock and this slows down survivors slamming gens back to back to back if a gen pops deadlock is gonna seal off the next gen that's near to being completed so you will know that you have possibly the next 30 seconds before another gen's gonna pop so you get some really good value out of this add-on it's very hard especially if you don't have your power with plague i will definitely say that and this add-on helps a lot there are situations where i will be at a very hard tile and boom a gen gets completed and i get my corrupt purge and i could shoot over the pallet and down the survivor or if i'm at a low walled loop i could shoot over it and hit the survivor and survivors never expect it unless they are on comms okay so they if they are on comms and they're a uh, coordinated swift they will definitely call out iridescent seal and probably wait wait for the right time to pop the generator but that means they're wasting time you know not popping gen so what's good about this add-on is you don't have to worry about being an m1 killer throughout the whole match i'm going to be completely honest with you guys and i know i might uh, get a lot of hate for this i did put up a poll on youtube asking you what's stronger black incense or iridescent seal a lot of you said black incense and just said because you could see the auras of survivors and do mind games. I've used black incense a lot and there are times in high MMR where you could see the survivors but you can't do anything about it especially if you don't have your power at the time. I feel iridescent seal man there are times I use it it's just so rewarding. There's never a time where I'm like damn man iridescent seal didn't work out well for me I didn't get value out of it. I always get value out of it this add-on did receive a buff uh they did remove a, another drawback that this add-on did have you had a movement speed debuff where you were slowed down when you fully charge your corrupt purge but that is no longer the case they removed it so the only drawback is having your corrupt purge for 40 seconds but if you bring an amulet you're pretty much just gonna have a 60 second corrupt purge you could honestly uh make builds that revolve around iridescent seals such as bringing in like tinker or bitter murmur so you can know uh get information on pretty much when a gen's about to pop or get information after gen pop so you could pretty much just try to snowball with iridescent seal but you don't need it you just getting 60 seconds of corrupt purge is good enough you know what i mean so yeah i know a lot of you are gonna say oh black incense is stronger but this is just my opinion i have gotten way more value with iridescent seal than black incense iridescent seal is more consistent and it gives me more value to create snowball pressure with the plague i think this is the strongest plague add-on i am dropping iridescent seal over black incense for sure for the next add-on we got limestone seal so this is just the brown version to the hematite seal so all this does is increase the duration your puke stays on surface areas by 20 seconds i'm not really gonna explain it because i already explained like pretty much what it is for this one it's pretty much the same thing uh it's just weaker i'm um, not a fan of these add-ons so i'll drop this uh definitely lower than the hematite seal next we got olibanum incense so uh this add-on got completely reworked before i forgot what it did exactly i think it made you like 
move a bit faster when you fully charge your Valpurge. What it does now is when a survivor cleanses, you're going to get to see their aura for four seconds. It does give you information on possibly which direction the survivor is running to. But other than that, I think this add-on is very weak and I am going to place it in the bottom of D tier. Next, we got another cooldown add-on. This one is called Potent Tincture. So this is just going to reduce the cooldown of both your Val and Corrupt Purge by 0.4 seconds. Like I said earlier, it just creates so many plays. You could instantly puke on a survivor, get them broken, and then get a possible one shot down before they enter like a problematic tile or vault a window or vault a pallet. And when you have a corrupt purge, you could just send super fast streams of puke consistently and it's hard for survivors to really dodge um this add-on is nuts yeah i'm gonna drop it in the a tier man i think our cooldown add-ons are very underrated for the next add-on we got the prayer tablet fragment this add-on received a complete rework um it does a lot of things now what this add-on does is you cannot infect survivors directly by puking on them so if you do try to puke on them nothing will happen they won't get infected what you could do though is puke on surface areas and if that survivor interacts with that surface area they will get sick so you could puke on pallets you could puke on window vaults you could puke on lockers you could puke on totems you could puke on items chests generators honestly anything that a survivor has to interact with and if they touch it they're gonna get infected okay it also increases the time your puke stays on surface areas by default the plague has uh, 40 seconds of her puke staying on surface areas this is going to increase it to 80 seconds which is quite a long time so if survivors don't want to get infected by hopping on gens they're going to be pretty much wasting time running around trying to find a non-infected gen to work on because 80 seconds is a very long time it also has another ability which increases the infection rate by 100 percent so survivors are going to get broken quickly and uh yeah that's pretty much all it does this add-on i really like it it makes play playing a different play style honestly uh but it does have some incredible counterplay if good survivors know you have this add-on uh yeah they're going to really take advantage of it the real downside to this add-on is that you can't puke on survivors directly so say for survivors going for the unhook and they're healthy there are times where if you had a reg if you had your regular power you could have just puked on them and do a trade by getting them broken and one-shotting them but if a survivor knows you have this they know they could go for a safe trade or whatever but um yeah i'm not it's a fun add-on it really gets survivors broken quickly there are times where i use this add-on in a match and literally survivors will avoid all the window vaults and palace i puked on and just hold w to a different tile and I wouldn't get no infections off that match. Like, you know what I mean? It's uh, kind of a weird add-on. I don't really know where to place this add-on, to be honest, because I don't think it's good. It's just meme -y. It's fun. Yeah, it gets survivors broken quickly, which can be good, but it does have some counterplay to it. Next, we have a very strange add-on that got a recent rework. Um, this add-on is called prophylactic amulet what this add-on does is reduce your pools of devotion on the map by two so by default you have six so it's going to decrease it to four until this day i don't see the point of this add-on it, it pretty much just maybe makes survivors travel a further distance to cleanse but that means you're gonna have to travel a further distance to grab your power so it's like I was trying to see if there is any benefit to this add-on and until this day I just don't see a benefit to it. If you guys have an idea of how this add-on would work, just let me know like if it would synergize with a build. I tried perks that make survivors cleanse more so they could reset the fountains faster so I don't really have to waste time going to pools but that didn't work like this is just such a weird add-on and honestly I don't even know where to place it to be honest. Yeah I don't see the purpose of it and yeah I'm definitely dropping it in the bottom of D tier. For the next add-on we got rubbing oil. What this add-on does is increase the charge rate of your Val and corrupt purge by 50%. This add-on did receive a nerf, I believe before it was like 75%, um, but yeah, it is still a strong add-on. So what I love about this add-on is that it applies both for your vial 
and corrupt purge kind of similar to the cooldown add-ons but the whole point of this add-on is it makes you charge your Val or Corrupt Purge in a less amount of time. So if you can see when you're charging your Val Purge, there's that bar in the bottom of your screen. It's pretty much just going to charge up a lot quicker than usual. So you can send out a lot of stream of puke at once. Uh, so let's talk about what this add-on does for the Val Purge. So if you are behind a survivor, and you just do a minimal charge of puke, you're gonna be sending out a lot of puke at once. So this means it increases the chances of you getting survivors broken quickly because you could just shoot out so much puke at once, okay? What I find with this add-on too with Val Purge is that sometimes when there are like multiple survivors in the area and they're kind of clumped up together, I will fully charge it and pretty much just wave my camera left and right and it increases the chances of you infecting more than one survivors at once, okay? Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all it does for Val Purge. Let's talk about what it does with Corrupt Purge. So the number one thing that I wanna say first is that this add-on, it increases the chances of you countering dead hearts throughout your match. So uh, pretty much, say if you're chasing a survivor and you charge your bar halfway with your Corrupt Purge, and you shoot your corrupt purge and that survivor dead hearts, you're still gonna be spewing out corrupt purge after they dead heart. So that time, that little bit of time of invincibility that they have is no longer gonna be there. So because your corrupt purge is still coming out, you're gonna be able to down them, okay? And this is why I really, really love rubbing oil. Um, this is, uh, yeah, Dead Heart is just a very problematic perk in this meta and this add-on definitely does help with that sometimes. Another important thing that this add-on does with Corrupt Purge is it increases the like surface area that your Corrupt Purge is going to cover. So like if it's difficult for you to get a survivor from like a certain distance, what you could do is fully charge that Corrupt Purge all the way. Because you have rubbing oil, you will do that so quickly. And you could just um, pretty much just wave your camera left to right just to increase the surface area of your Corrupt Purge. Yes, you could do that without this add-on, but this add-on, it just works perfectly. Um, I've noticed with this add-on as well, if you're in chase sometimes, see if they're ducking underneath a rock. Sometimes I will like charge my corrupt purge and shoot it and they'll think that the corrupt purge stream is over. They peek their head back up and still get hit because I'm still spewing out corrupt purge. That's another benefit with this add-on as well. This add-on can be very scary if you pull up to a generator, for example, and there are more than one survivors there. You could uh, charge your bar halfway and possibly get a double hit for those of you who have been watching me for quite some time now you know i love going for those crazy shots with corrupt purge especially over like jungle gyms or any other high wall loops in the game and rubbing oil definitely helps with that because when you're spewing out more corrupt purge that means you are covering more surface area it's going to increase your chances of you hitting a survivor over jungle gyms or whatnot you know what i mean i think this add-on is incredibly strong and like I said earlier, I love add-ons that apply both to Val and Corrupt Purge. I feel those are probably like one of the stronger add-ons. And I'm definitely going to be placing Rubbing Oil in the A tier. For the next add-on, we got Severed Toe. What this add-on does is increase infection rate survivors gain when interacting with objects by 50%. Uh, kind of similar to the Emetic add-ons, not really a fan of this add-on. It really gets survivors infected quickly by interacting with like gens or lockers or vaulting windows, pallets, etc. Um, honestly, this add-on, not my favorite. I rarely ever use this add-on. I don't think it's that good to be honest. It does uh, pair well with the uh, meme add-on because you will get survivors broken at a 150% infection rate, which is insane. But other than that, it's just whatever. It's just there to get survivors broken quickly. That's about it. For the next add-on, we got Vile Emetic. So this add-on received a complete rework. What it did before was get survivors broken insanely fast, but now it's completely changed. It's a completely different add-on now. What it does is it increases the projectile speed of both your Vile 
and corrupt purge so we know this add-on benefits both your powers pretty much and uh let's get into what it does for val purge specifically so uh there are times where like a survivor is like super far away or they're about to turn that corner and because your puke travels so slow the survivor gets away this is just going to decrease the chances of that happening because your puke is just going to travel so fast and so far so yeah that's about it you could pretty much just get infections around the cor before that survivor turns the corner but yeah it really doesn't do much for vile purge but what it does for corrupt purge is actually really good okay so um let me say something first uh this add-on is you're not really gonna see much benefit with low mmr survivors because it's easier to get downs on them with corrupt purge but when you get to high mmr and survivors are hugging the tiles very well and they are literally like glued to the walls when they're looping it is very hard for you to get hits with your corrupt purge because your puke travels so slow i know a lot of you have been in the situation where you shoot a stream of corrupt purge and you could have sworn it was about to hit that survivor, but because it travels so slow, that survivor was able to turn the corner or that survivor was able to vault the window in time or vault the pallet in time. And your puke literally misses them because it travels so slow. Yeah, this definitely helps you out in those situations. It also increases the distance your corrupt purge travels as well. If a good survivor knows the distance, the plague's puke can travel they won't expect it to travel that far and could possibly catch them off guard you could get some really cool snipes with this add-on and uh one thing to keep in mind though about this add-on is that the fall off of your puke doesn't arc as much so you have to keep that in mind uh you kind of have to build up the muscle memory with this add-on but other than that i think this add-on is fairly strong in high mmr when you have a corrupt perch specifically and uh for that i will definitely drop it in the a tier for sure for the next add-on we got the worship tablet i feel this is one of the more underrated add-ons in my opinion what it does is it increases the ingestion speed by 100 percent all this means is that when you go to a pool of devotion to power up there is a bar there and when that bar is full you get your corrupt purge so all this does is makes you grab your corrupt purge a lot faster this can be beneficial when you are in chase and there is a nearby pool. You won't lose as much distance going to the pool and grabbing your corrupt purge because you will ingest it so quickly and, and you could just pretty much quickly catch up with that survivor and try to possibly down them with your corrupt purge. So that's pretty much the only benefit you get with the first effect, but it does have a second effect, which I think is quite powerful. So what the second ability is, is it increases the movement speed while you are holding your corrupt purge by 4.4%. This is very beneficial, especially in high MMR, kind of similar to the Valimedic, where when you go up against teams that are really hugging those tiles well, it can be quite hard to get them with your corrupt purge. This is going to help you to stay behind them and they won't get much distance when you're fully charging your corrupt purge on you and you could catch up with them send a stream of corrupt purge and hit them okay um i think this add-on is quite underrated and it pairs well with rubbing oil so rubbing oil allows you to fill up your bar faster and when you fully have it charged you will now get your 4.4 uh, percent movement speed bonus while you're holding your corrupt purge honestly i think this add-on has a lot of potential i wouldn't say it's insanely strong but it is definitely very helpful in high mmr and yeah i will be placing it in the b tier last but not least we have the blessed apple so this is just going to give you an extra pool of corrupt purge in the beginning of the trial but it does not have that second ability like the Ashen Apple where it gives you an extra pool of devotion on the map. Uh, yeah, there's not really much for me to say about it. Then this add-on is freaking strong. When you bring in two apples, you're pretty much uh, good to go. If you're a high MMR plague, definitely bring in two apples and you'll be guaranteed three default corrupt pools that match. Um, obviously, I'll put it one tier below the Ashen Apple because I feel... Uh, this apple doesn't give you the extra pool of devotion on the map. Uh, but yeah, when you pair these two together, they are very, very strong. Double apples are always, I think, the way to go if you're a high MMR play player. Yeah, guys. So this is the tier list, man. 
again i put all of these add-ons in a place where i feel is fair i've played plague for over a year now i said that earlier but i've tried every single add-on and i literally explained to you guys every single like situation you could be in with these add-ons and place them accordingly to which i feel is uh, strongest to weakest okay but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one